So hello everyone. Uh, you know, there is one thing that uh, we need to celebrate and some of you have already heard uh, what is the thing and uh, let's say I'm not talking about the celebration of RET X14, the introduction of RET X14, but uh, we need to celebrate the fact that uh, we have exceeded 500 registrants for this webinar. Uh, also, I would like to highlight uh, for those who will not be able to participate in this webinar, like your colleagues, friends, uh, so we are going to host this same live webinar on the 20, 28th of July. Uh, it will be in, in the evening, Lithuanian time. I think it's uh, 6 p.m. Uh, on the 28th of July. So before I head directly to RET X14, I would like to introduce myself, so because I'm, well, I think that not all of you were participating in our previous webinars. So I'm Andres Unikas uh, from Operational Marketing and I'm representing Teltonica Networks as a company. And you know, one thing, I have always wanted to visit North, go to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, or let's say Oslo, the capital of Norway. These two cities have so many things in common but today I will be speaking about one, which have happened on December 14 in 2009 and was made by Telia Sonera, a company Telia Sonera. And on that day, 12 years ago, the world's first publicly available LT service was opened by Telia Sonera in the two Scandinavian capitals, Stockholm and Oslo. What have changed since then? Well, I would say everything. Try to turn on 3G in your mobile phone and visit YouTube. What will happen? You will wait probably half a minute to load the video. So 4G LTE enabled a path to different solutions from digital signage to live streaming. If we would be talking about Teltonica Networks, do you know what have changed for this company, for Teltonica Networks? I would say also the same word, everything. 17 different products, hundreds of hours developing them, and they have many things again in common, but the most important one is they all have 4G LTE connectivity. However, while 4G LTE is the common thing, the LTE category is different. For example, RET9 and RET2 series have CAT4, RTX and RT3 series have CAT6, while TRB and TRM series have uh, CAT1, CAT M1, and narrow band. However, there is one missing connectivity type which I would like to highlight, and it is LT CAT12, or, well, I should say RTX14, the latest product which we have released. Uh, so RTX14 is equipped with 4G LTE CAT12 mobile module. It has five gigabit Ethernet ports for higher data throughput and dual SIM for internet backup. Furthermore, as all RTX series products, it has dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, which can work in access point or station mode or in both modes at the same time. Also, RTX14 has uh, USB 2.0 and Bluetooth 4.0 for connecting sensors and external devices, for example. Furthermore, RTX14 supports USB to serial, which enables a possibility to connect to machinery, which uses serial interfaces like RS-232 or RS-485. Before heading to the software part, I would like to highlight what are the differences in speed by comparing LTE categories? So as you can see from this table, CAT12 supports up to 600 megabit per sec. However, you should understand that this speed is the theoretical one. Furthermore, the main purpose of RTX14 is to offer faster internet connectivity where, uh, for example, CAT6 is too slow. For example, if LTE CAT6 router provides 20 megabit per sec of download speed, then RTX 14 will offer probably up to 40 megabits per sec. And you might wonder where you can face such slow speeds. Well, basically in most of the countries in, in, the, in the world, 
talking about the upload speed, Cat 12 supports up to 150 megabit per sec. And this is three times more than Cat 6. Upload speed is crucial in applications like, uh, uh, like live streaming, for example. Another important thing to understand Cat 12 better uh, and the speed it is offering is carrier aggregation. So Cat 12 module offers three carrier ag aggregation, meaning you can combine three bands of LTE network and obtain much higher speeds. Now going to the software part, RUT X14 is equipped with the same RUT OS as all our devices. So it supports various industrial and monitoring protocols. It is compatible with RMS, so it enables a possibility to control your whole network infrastructure. Furthermore, as security is one of the main drivers in our products, we have included uh, firewalls, multiple VPNs, cyber attack prevention protocols to RUT X14 software part. Lastly, RTX 14 supports hotspot, which opens new paths in public places where higher speed is needed. What I would like to talk right now about is that this day is a special day, not because of RTX 14, not because of those 500 registrants, but because today we are releasing a new version of our operating system, RTOS. With it, we offer such software features like DMP3. As we all understand that security is very important, we updated our operating system to the latest kernel version, open VRT base and firewalls. Also, we are always looking into CVE vulner vulnerabilities reports so that our products uh, would be up to date with the newest breaches. And lastly, the new RT OS comes with new user interface which would offer way faster browsing. With this wide variety of features and functions, RT X14 opens new opportunities in the market, such as, let's say, connectivity in public spaces, from parks where wide Wi-Fi is needed, to public events where high data throughput is needed. Furthermore, connectivity in industrial applications or industrial environment due to RTX 14 ruggedness, it is a perfect device to offer reliable and stable internet source to warehouses or facilities. Despite the fact that it is just one single device, you can take different products and share Wi-Fi to others. So you can share this Wi-Fi to other products like uh, other routers and spread the network. Last, not last, but uh, the last that I'm presenting today, the opportunity is, is with transportation, with public buses, transportation infrastructure. And this market is where cellular technology takes everything, since it is a mobile market. And earlier we have been offering, let's say RT955 or RTX11 in public buses. But now I think with RTX14, uh, it enables to have even faster internet source using only one single device. So you have heard opportunities, but what about the use cases? What about application scenarios? As mentioned before, RTX 14 can be useful in any application, like industrial and automation, machinery connectivity via USB to serial, energy and utilities where speed is in, the, in where speed in remote areas is needed or even smart city to connect various different devices like barriers payment terminals or digital screens furthermore in transportation industry as i have mentioned cat 12 is needed since it offers higher data throughput if we would take rt x14 to small mid-sized office it would give probably perfect internet backup if the main source will be lost and all vending machines, payment terminals in supermarkets could be connected to a single device, to a single RTX 14 due to its high speed. Now I would like to introduce two topologies, uh, which we have written also in our website where you can download the, the PDF files <clears throat> and share with your colleagues, with your friends. So despite growing awareness regarding global warming and the greenhouse effect, gasoline and diesel remains the most common fuels today. 
the number of gas stations is still growing in a, in a lot of places around the world. And I have many examples in Lithuania, uh, for example, when probably uh, every two weeks, uh, at least one gasoline station is, is uh, just popping up, you know, and then some of them are in the cities and some in remote areas. This variety comes with a set of connectivity challenges. To begin with, they usually, you know, belong to a chain. So the connectivity model needs to be universal to fit various locations and environments. And I'm talking about uh, uh, a chain like, I know, Shell, for example, or something like that. Besides the support of such change is usually centralized. Hence having a unified connectivity solution eases up uh, the support procedures and reduces the resources required for IT support. Also, it makes the time to set up a new station much shorter, simpler, and more cost efficient. RDX14 router is the central piece of the solution. And when I mentioned in, in the past, it has the CAT12 uh, module, and this router can reach speeds up to 600 megabits per sec, which is enough to serve the varied needs of devices used in similar environments, uh, like surveillance cameras inside and outside of the petrol station, uh, point of sale or POS terminals, digital signage screens, um, you know, also requires quite a speedy connection. And network stability and broad data bandwidth also, also needed. So these devices connect uh, to the router via Ethernet cable uh, through those five gigabit Ethernet ports on RTX 14. Uh, products like uh, scanners, tablets, and other wireless devices used for, uh, let's say, work purposes connect to a private Wi-Fi network for security reasons. And there can be also a separate public guest Wi-Fi created for the visitors. A wide selection of those VPN services, VPN protocols ensures that the most varied security requirements and preferences are met. Another use case, uh, which I would like to highlight, and now it's, let's say, quite popular in the world. Uh, so during coronavirus outbreak, most services, work and education had to shift to an online model. While numerous events were canceled or rescheduled and the pandemic staying, uh, let's say, with us for longer than expected, and I expect it to last until 2025. So online streaming solutions started, let's say, gaining popularity worldwide, across the world. The transition to online streaming for concerts, sports, and cultural events was relatively simple due to having an access to professional equipment, trained staff, and specialized premises. However, the need arose for a much more comprehensive range of pop-up events, which were taking places in, in offices, in schools, in public institutions, or other similar environment, inside or outside, doesn't matter, you know. So that are not quite suitable for such a purpose. Since the solution is meant for pop-up events, the main requirements were quite simple, and uh, those re requirements included uh, simple setup, ease of use, good quality stream, and high data throughput, uh, let's say required to broadcast the live video to, to YouTube. Uh, a reliable and stable internet connection was also a must-have. Well, it's quite obvious, you know. So in this case, four cameras and a laptop connect uh, to the Teltronica Network's RTX 14 device. Uh, we Ethernet ports and uses, let's say, a cellular connection for data streaming. Uh, while gigabit Ethernet connection ensures fast and stable communication between the cameras, laptop, and the router, uh, the LTE Cat 12 modem with the load balancing offers enough speed and throughput to ensure an uninterrupted streaming experience. Aggressive pricing hundreds uh, of features with RTOS, remote monitoring and management with RMS makes this device perfect for most applications where higher data throughput is needed. Also, as all our devices, all our products, it has industrial design and then real mounting option possibility. Furthermore, RTX 14 offers dual band Wi-Fi, huge variety of security features and dual SIM. Could you imagine a router which has such a high data throughput with so many different features from security to uh, reliability? 
and do you remember uh, from my previous webinars? And I think uh, I don't know if I have mentioned in this webinar, but it is quite healthy, you know, to compare to other companies, to other manufacturers, what what we are giving and what we are offering. Uh, well, and I have to say that we offer everything for the same price. We do not charge additionally for, uh, let's say, for accessories or, or, or something like that. Uh, we provide everything what is needed for the first start and probably for your long-term project. So we give all antennas like Wi-Fi, mobile, GNSS, and even Bluetooth. We even give Ethernet cable and SIM needle, QSG, RMS, uh, flyer, basically everything. So thank you for listening to my webinar.